Okay, I'm at job number 20745. It's called 132nd Road Project. This is in North Bend at 44525 Southeast 132nd Street. Uh, I just gave you that address because it's one of the houses in here that it's probably right in the center of this project. But they want to take this gravel road that comes right off of the maintained county road uh, which is asphalt and then it turns to gravel they want to uh, the residents that are in this neighborhood here this private neighborhood I think they're all pitching in and wanting to get this road paved so Dave I think his name's Swanson excuse me Swanson is uh, wanting a price for grading this road and I think we would have to grade it for one because there's lots of potholes I'd probably say there's 40 to 50 potholes on this thing but grade it put two inches of rock down uh, after having my conversation with Lynn and then putting in you know two and a half inches of asphalt this road goes flat it slopes to the right it slopes to the left it's crowned it's got a little bit of everything and I think the goal would be to have the road slope away from the homes as much as possible and then in some areas maybe get it have it crowned if necessary so the footage on this is 1292 lineal feet by 16 feet wide okay Hopefully uh, you don't get sick from me driving on this dirt road here. But <clears throat> goes on to a private road. It's been graded a couple times by someone who lives out here. He just has like a box blade and he runs it over the top and tries to fill the potholes where you see potholes, but it, they just keep coming back. So I'd like a price to do this job next year. Could be as early as this winter to regrade uh, Lynn said it'd be about $1,500 to rent um, from the guy that he knows that we've used uh, about $1,500 for that and um, what else uh, so the, right here in this area it slopes to the right towards this house I don't know if we could get it built up and sloped to the other side but I think that's what they would like to do and then you get up here to this address that I gave you in the beginning it slopes a little bit away from the house but they'd like to have it definitely do that and then it takes a right you don't have to do that road on the left it takes a right it goes past the address I was just talking about a little bit ago and again it's about 16 feet wide you get down this road and you've only got one driveway that's right here this house here has asphalt so we would have to tie into that there's a little bit of asphalt that comes out here onto the road we could probably saw cut this right here that saw cuts about a 25 foot by 8 foot section there that would have to be cut out and then um, you know the our three inches of asphalt over the top or excuse me two and a half and then it stops right here so basically we would stop right where it starts to Y here that's where I measured I measured about 10 feet back from that uh, power pole right there so about 10 feet actually 12 feet back which puts you right at the mossy edge there and then we would just do a straight cut here on the side all right, so I had a little chat with the neighbor here. Uh, but this is where it would stop. And I'm turning around right now because this is a private drive going up there. But this is the main road. So if I was to back up here at the end of this property, you've got the power pole that's right there. You'd probably bring it out. I said about 12 feet. I think that's where I measured 1,292 feet. So from the county road to here, 1,292 feet, that's where you would stop. All right, 16 feet wide. Need to grade it so that way we could get water traveling in one direction 
and hopefully uh, not tear up the asphalt. Okay, so I'd like to do a base price for brand new HMA. Uh, and then I'd like to give a bid option for recycled asphalt. Because I spoke to Dave a little bit about potentially doing a maintenance program. You know, once a year we come out and see what needs to be done. And he liked that idea too. So it's base price for hot mix, bid option for wrap, but it definitely needs to be graded prior to putting down rock and either doing wrap or HMA. All right. Um, it has to go to the board here. They have to get approval from nine different homes. And uh, go from there. That's it. Any other questions, let me know. Thanks.